today I'm excited to share with you these festive ice cubes. So basically what you're going to want to think about is a combination you want to do. Um, what I'm doing today is pomegranate and sage. The sage is going to be really strong um, in whatever drink you use the ice cubes in. It's going to kind of remind people of Thanksgiving, that whole rosemary in time. Um, and just the holidays kind of in general. I always think of that whenever I smell rosemary or sage. Um, and then pomegranates just scream Christmas. So I went with that combination. Um, one thing you're gonna wanna think about are your ice cube holders. So I'm using a one and a half inch cube silicone mold that makes half a dozen ice cubes. Another idea that I tried last year for our Christmas party was I took the um, sphere molds. They make like a, a, an ice ball this big <laughs> and they're used for whiskey drinks. So if you drink whiskey straight, you can use these spheres and then it doesn't melt as quickly. So that would be really good for a party as well because it, they're not gonna melt as quickly, especially if you use it in um, like a Christmas punch or something like that. Um, they'll just last longer. So you can get them on Amazon, um, just a, a nice sphere of silicone. So let's get to these festive ice cubes, shall we? The first thing you're gonna wanna do is take some of your sage and take off a leaf and then flatten it out and you're gonna wanna place it down in the bottom of each of your ice cubes, or the molds rather. And then when you have a sage in all of those, then fill it up with pomegranate seeds. So the pomegranates are gonna weigh down the sage so they don't float up when you add the water. And now just fill up the tray with water and then stick your mold in the, in the freezer. Now, one thing I wanna keep in mind um, is do this ahead of time. Do this like the week before your party because what you're gonna to wanna to do is do this a couple of times, if, especially where you're only making half a dozen, you're probably gonna want three rounds of these unless you buy more molds. Um, and if you only have the one, then what I do is once they're frozen, just pop them into a container with a lid and stick them in the freezer until the day of your party and then you can use them. Um, but this is really great if you're making a Christmas punch and you want to add um, more flavor to it. Like I said, the sage is really going to give a good flavor to whatever drink you have it in. And then any cocktails. Um, a combination I was thinking would be really good for a cocktail because we are whiskey drinkers, obviously, here at the McMinn House. Um, but if you've got little mandarin oranges, the little cuties, and you put a slice of that in with a cinnamon stick, that would be really cool because the, the flavor would be really great with the whiskey. Um, Another combination I was thinking would be really good would be raspberries and rosemary. A little R&R &R for Christmas time. Um, I think that'd be great. I hope that you guys make some festive ice cubes this year. And like always, I hope that this inspires you to gather the people you love in, in your home, especially during this holiday season. And I hope that this inspires you to gather the people you love in your home this holiday season.